I'm Big Will Levinson, and it's time to talk sports. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night we have had on the gridiron. Football season is off and running. An absolutely massive night of action starting at Stoker Stadium. Our first rivalry night of the season, Fruta and Central. And how about the all-black look for the Warriors? I mean, those are clean. And here come those Warriors year two under head coach Ryan Whittington. And here with the Fruta Wildcats trying to forget a 41-0 loss to, an, to open the season to an elite legend team last week as week one on the Western Slope is underway. Sophomore Torrin Scott's on the return. He's got a lane down the left sideline. And just like that, Scott is gone. Wait, nope, he stepped down around the 30. No touchdown, but still a nice return. But after a pair of three and outs, the Warriors moved it down the field. And this time, Scott gets his touchdown off the quick pitch. The Warriors strike first. It's 6-0 Central. Next drive, Fruta got it down the field, but on fourth and goal, Central's defense is ready for it. What a stop, but the problem with getting a fourth down stop like that, backed up in your own end, and oh no, ball on the ground. Luckily for Central, they recover it. That's a safety. Two points for Fruta. It's 6-2, to two. and after the Wildcats had two touchdowns, called back for penalties. Finally, five and a half quarters into the season, they hit pay dirt. Heath Shaneman dives across, and Fruta goes for two, and they get two. Wildcats extend the lead. It's 10-6 Fruta. Late in the half, Central moved it again, and they go with the jet sweep to the dangerous Dom Colasimo. Colasimo bowling his way home. Okay, Central, the Warriors looking for their first win over Fruta in six years. They lead it 13 to 10 as we head to the half. But boy, the Wildcats, they came out looking like a different squad in the second half, right down the field to open the third quarter to regain the lead. And the Fruta Wildcats did not look back after that as they finally find a groove on offense and put up 37 points in the win, taking down their rival Central for the sixth straight year, and more importantly, evening up their record at one and one. But let's take you down to Kingsville, Texas, where the CMU Mavs trailed by five with five minutes to go. And breaking away from defenders is freshman Jack Burke, and he's in for the go-ahead touchdown as Liu Amave replaces Leslie Richardson, a quarterback in the fourth quarter, and the San Diego State transfer leads the Mavs to victory. And folks, this is a massive win to start the year for CMU, a touchdown underdog on the road to a team that beat them by 20 last season. Ladies and gentlemen, Colorado Mesa is one. And oh, but folks, we are not done to Boulder. Really, to no one's surprise, it was the Travis Hunter show. The future NFL star cruising to the house for six to open up Colorado scoring in 2024. And the Buffs found themselves trailing here in the third. That's until Travis Hunter does Travis Hunter things. I mean, just look at the DB. What do you want me to do, coach? Nothing. There is nothing you can do in really these poor cornerbacks. Deion Sanders said Hunter is more talented than he was at this age, and Hunter is showing why. I mean, that is just ridiculous as the Buffs just escaped the Bison despite a late comeback attempt from NDSU. 31-26 is the final, and of course, you wouldn't have done it without the great Mr. Hunter. Three scores for him, four scores and 445 yards for Shadur Sanders. Buffs start the year one and oh. How about that? What a night of football. CMU gets the dub. CU gets the dub. Oh, that's Fruita's all impressive. Over. And Fruita, too, uh, uh, good congratulations to CMU because they, they kind of took a beating last year to that team at home. At home, right. No, this was – they were underdogs coming in this game, and there was a lot of questions about the quarterback position. Is it Leslie Richardson? Is it Liu Amave? Right. And Leslie starts the game. He plays the first three quarters, but they put in the San Diego State transfer. And what a performance. The guts to go down the field, score the touchdown. That was when the impressive. game. And they got some great stops. The defense, what a performance by the Mavericks defense tonight. Making the plays and getting that big and win. And their home opener is next week. Right? Home opener is next Saturday. Central Washington coming to town to open things up. Cannot wait for that one. Hoping for a great crowd at Stoker Stadium. On a Saturday. That's a Saturday. Yes. Uh, the Buffs defense needs a little help. It's what we saw last year. But. It's what we saw last year. But <laughs> boy, they were uh, should Shadour and Travis. Two to connection. twelve. That's the whole season. It's just over and over. Shadour to Travis, 
rinse and repeat. You can't stop it. Josephine, I mean, you throw it up to that guy. Josephine couldn't shut up about it in the newsroom I, after watching that game. I, she was impressed. What can I say? I know. It's the most Lots exciting. of offense, great catches, very impressive. They're going to be fun to watch. This is what it was last year, right? It's fun to watch football. You don't know what's going to happen. And when the defense isn't playing well, I mean, what do you do? Just throw it up to Travis Hunter and go win football games. Um, right? Hey, they're telling us behind the scenes that we need to take a look at the forecast. I'm hearing the weather is going to be good tonight. I hope so. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Let's Let's take a look at the Travis Hunter tonight, but fine. Weather. <laughs> uh, t- t- <laughs> picture is tonight. Nice, clear. Uh, so it is looking like for the long term, super nice, clear, sunny skies, even into the Did late you see work that week. Game winning touchdown. Into the, <laughs> the late night, the game winning. Touchdown was pretty good. It was an impressive game. It was, it was impressive. Great catch. Almost as impressive as Montrose's weather as well. What about ours? A really good, too. It's, it's very similar. It's going to be a nice night at Stoker Stadium tomorrow night. Really, That's what we're really, looking forward really to. Really well. Not really good, really well. Hey, have a really good night. Have a, have a well night. Have a well night. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you bright and early with Noah Anderson and Barrett Vincent, or m- maybe with us tomorrow. Friday Night Frenzy tomorrow night. You don't want to miss it. Maybe. Ha, 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 ha.